So this is one of the destinations along the hike. This is the peak. It's absolutely beautiful views as you're looking through the pines uh, and across these vistas. Great hidden gem up here on top of this little spur trail. At Hidden Gems of Nature, I don't tell you what the destination is. Instead, I give you clues so you can explore and discover these hidden gems or your own hidden gems. So watch carefully as we identify clues to find these destinations. And remember, subscribe to Hidden Gems of Nature YouTube channel. Welcome to Hidden Gems of Nature. We're in Pine Top Lakeside, heading south on Highway 260. We're going to take a left at this upcoming light. After we take a left at this light, it's just a short distance down uh, before we take another left and head north. We're on this road for just another couple of miles before we approach a quick right turn off the main road and then an immediate left turn into the parking area. Welcome to Hidden Gems of Nature. We're in the parking lot. I'm going to pan around real quick so you can see what the parking lot looks like. It's just a small pullout, enough room for five or six vehicles. Uh, but we're, it's pretty here. We're under the shade of the pine trees and we will start our hike. Join us as we explore and discover the hidden gems along this three and a half mile loop trail in the White Mountains. There's a number of these fences and gates along the trail to keep the livestock in their grazing areas. All of them have easy latches in and out. These White Mountain trails, there's a number of them up here. They're really nice and well maintained and they have this sign along them. White Mountains Trail System. So any of the trails that you hike along in the White Mountains will have these insignias on them. Makes it real easy to follow. There you go, and there's one of the signs. They're all along the trail interspersed. So as we go down this trail, the loop hike's three and a half miles, but there is a spur trail that goes to the peak. And the peak's only a half mile hike up. So this is actually the spur trail. The loop hike goes off here to my left or to my right. We can go up the spur trail to the peak. It's about a half mile up to the peak. I think we're gonna head up to the peak and catch a glimpse of some of the views from the top of the mountain. Join us as we explore and discover some of the views at the top of this peak in the White Mountains. We're hiking up to the peak of this little spur trail and as you can see behind me there's quite a view. We haven't even gotten to the peak yet but I thought we had a break in the trees. Thought you'd enjoy this view. This is the view from the break in the forest. It's a beautiful little hike. You can actually see the snow on the left side of the camera, right there behind that ponderosa pine, as we look out over the expanse below us. So this is one of the destinations along the hike. This is the peak, and we've just arrived to the peak. And, and although you have some spectacular views up here, and, and I'll have my brother Greg, he'll kind of pan to my right, and you can see a little bit of it, but the views, because the forest is thick, which is kind of nice, you don't get as, as broad a vistas as you would normally get. But it is still very nice to be up here and enjoy some of the views, looking out through the pines across all of the White Mountains and seeing all of the, the mountains all around us, north, south, east, west. It's absolutely beautiful views as you're looking through the pines uh, and across these vistas. As we're hiking out the loop trail, over here on the side of the trail, as you can see there, is a little bit of snow left over from the snow storm on Monday night. It's the middle of October. It's kind of nice to see a little bit of snow up here early in the year. So as we're hiking through this trail system, this White Mountain Trail system, you can see the signs. This is kind of nice because if you stop and look right here, to my right is another trail, then again another trail, and a third trail that break off at this same point. And uh, because of this white mountain trail system and these little white triangles, it's easy to stay right on course because this is the one that keeps us on the right trail. So if you like hiking 
and you're not accustomed to looking at topographical maps, um, it's good to have this nice little trail system working for you. A few years ago, my wife and I were driving up to the Rim Country to celebrate our anniversary. On the way up, we passed a truck that had a Christmas tree in the bed of the truck. We immediately looked at each other and went, hey, let's cut down a Christmas tree while we're up here on our anniversary. So we stopped in Heber, got a Christmas tree permit. We went out and looked for a tree, found one we liked, marked the location. On the last day of our short anniversary trip, we picked up a bow saw and a length of rope, went back, cut the tree down, and brought it home. It was a beautiful pinyon pine. Of course, they're a lot thinner than the pine trees you buy at the store, but our kids loved it and were jealous that they didn't get a chance to go with us to cut it down. So the next year, we went as a family up to the rim on the 300 road, found a nice little fir tree, cut it down, and brought it down for Christmas the next year. It's a great, it's a great way to start out your Christmas. I think those are the only two times we've ever had Christmas trees that we cut down in the forest. I can see why people make it a Christmas tradition. The trail wraps around this meadow, and as you can see behind me, there's the tank in the meadow. But uh, it's kind of a pretty trail as it, as it winds through the forest and uh, winds past this tank in this meadow. Great place to stop and enjoy literally looking through the forest as well as looking across the meadow and across that tank. Enjoy yourself as you discover these gems along the trail. As I mentioned, there's a lot of trails through here, so we're coming to another fork in the trail. And our loop goes to the right. We're not going to go straight. We're going to go to the right and uh, head down this arm of the trail. Just a pretty hike through the woods, literally through just a big stand of ponderosa pines. Shady and pleasant. Nice easy hike, three and a half miles plus an extra mile for the spur trail up to the peak. And the trail's level enough to make for a really pleasant bicycle ride as well. Something that's interesting about this trail is that it, it winds through the woods. It's not a straight shot. So it's just very enjoyable to meander through the pine trees as you hike, as opposed to just doing a straight shot to your destination. We're approaching another intersection in the trail. Um, Again, the signs are really good related to this trail system they have up here. We'll take a right from the fork and not follow the other two trails, but we'll go right down our trail on this loop pipe. As you can see up ahead of me to my left is the bulletin board in the parking lot. Um, so we're just about done with the loop hike. Hope you enjoyed this hike, whether you're hiking it or bicycling it. It's a great place to hike. Enjoy yourself as you explore and discover the gems on this trail in the White Mountains.